what's up guys welcome back to the channel so we're here working on a 2012 ford escape once again and today's goal in this video is going to be to get the upper and lower rad supports back on the car and then from there guys this will be easy to finish up we can get all the front components back on but this part is going to take some finagling just getting everything right where it's supposed to be and uh in its correct place so let me slip you guys around show you where we're at right now all righty guys so here we are in between the uh, raindrops today hopefully it doesn't rain out on us but uh working here on the front and i did do a little prep work since the last video um because there's a lot of stuff that i had to just kind of sure up before i started filming again and basically what i mean is so i got a uh, scissor jack here um between that frame rail and that one because when the accident happened it kind of pulled things in so we had to pull things back out to fit the uh new lower rad support in and i know i can get these rails exactly where they need to be because this right here the engine mount which we did in the last video um actually doesn't move and it's fixed position and there's two bolts that go straight up into it and they actually line up and that's not going anywhere so everything's lining up really good right now so i think next step is going to be actually to tighten these down a bit and then release the pressure here tighten these up under here and then release the pressure and then we can start um getting all this shirt up and this welded on and then once that's all welded, um, actually, maybe before we even weld it, we'll actually get the top piece on too, just to make sure everything fits and then weld it all at once. I don't know, but uh, it's all prepped for welding. We just have to tighten some things up and go from there. So I think that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna tighten this a little bit, tighten this a little bit, tighten these two under here, and then release the pressure and see where we're at and go from there. Okay guys, stop in there to chat for a second. Um, so as you can see, I've got the lower and upper rad support on loosely, and they look really nice. So basically I think what I'm gonna do is go around and tighten everything up so you can see like where it was. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do that. Tighten everything up where it was, you know, get the fender bolts back in. Um, get these tight here, one, two, where they were. Um, and then we can do some welding, like you can see right in under here, there's actually a place for a weld on this side, same thing. There's a place for a weld right there. And, uh, and then that should hold that on. Now, well, we're going to make sure she's sturdy. That's for sure. I mean, even with those few bolts in guys, she's uh sturdy and nothing really, nothing supported by this either. It's just where the radiator mounts and where the, uh, Hood mounts but now the rain's moving in so we're gonna have to wait a few minutes for that to clear up and then we'll be uh back at it here Alrighty, guys so we went ahead and tightened all of the fender bolts show you here got everything nice and tight and back to where it was originally um, same for these lower ones that way 
um, you know, this thing's really not going to move. And then neither is this, this bottom one's now solid. So we're going to lay some spot welds there where we can, um, you know, all around the sides and probably over here, just kind of where it was before. Um, so we're going to do that and then lay a couple up here. And um, guys, I'm not an expert welder here, but you know what? We're going to give it a try. We're definitely doing it ourselves. Um, and honestly, the welding for this is not the main structural component. Like there's a lot of bolts holding everything on, so it's just extra. So, uh, you know, we're going to treat it that way too. Get some nice spot welds in there just to hold it up a little, sure it up a little bit. And then uh, we will go on from there and hopefully be able to kind of grind down the spot welds and paint what you see that's black and paint it and make it red so that it blends in. So let's get to it. got everything secure all the welds done this thing is not going anywhere between the bolts and the welds holding it on so we're perfect there shouts out to the harbor freight welder guys this is a titanium easy weld i think it's called um real impressed with it worked perfectly on uh c and three speed there or three voltage there so uh worked perfect we're all welded up i'm going to cover this up and then we're actually going to go ahead and throw some red paint on it make it all blend in
All right, guys, check that out. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like factory, right? Oh, man. Blends right in. So, guys, we just got the whole upper and lower rad supports on. Got them painted, ready to go. We also painted this piece right here, which is actually going to be the, uh, the hood support piece. It goes between this hole down here and bolts on right here. So, got that done. And, guys, she is looking great. Oh, man, am I excited. That is the worst part there, guys. Easy peasy from here. Throw the radiator, throw the condenser, throw the fans in, stuff like that. Throw the bumper on. Guys, this car is going to be done. So with that, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, be sure to do that down below. I'd really appreciate it. Like this video. If you enjoyed the content, comment. Let me know what you think of this front end. I think it's coming together great. And I'm glad I really went ahead and painted it the same color as the car because, honestly, that really made it look nice and like factory, just the way factory was. So uh, pretty excited about that, guys. But more to come after this one. I think next video we'll probably go ahead and tackle the uh, airbag system because now that this is on, we can throw the sensors back on. And then we got the seat belts and stuff rebuilt, so more to come there. But I think we can go ahead and take care of that in the next video. And then from then on, guys, uh, you know, we're getting close here. This is... Uh, getting close to wrap up zone so pretty excited about that guys so thanks for watching and remember guys always get out there do it yourself